All right. Well, hello there. It is uh, Tuesday, June 27th, and it is about 1030 in the morning. And yeah, the cats are playing because this was not a normal morning in the household today. Uh, so no morning sale. I know that was that was hard to pass doing the morning sale, but uh, we had a vet appointment this morning. Um, so I will be taking Gracie back into the vet tomorrow morning. Uh, they open up before the morning sale, so I'll be able to go in, drop her off, come back, do the morning sale with Jen and Kim, and then um, and then we'll see what time um, she gets worked on. So what happened today with Gracie is um, she uh, got an antibiotic shot. She does have an abscessed molar. So she will be going back for some dental work. And once they get in there and get the molar out, they'll be able to get everything drained and mm. <laughs> but um, she did have antibiotics. I um, had to get some antibiotic eye drops because her abscess is um, bad and they didn't want to get an eye infection also. So I've got some drops I put in as soon as we got home. 12 hours later, right about bedtime, I'll be putting in some more eye drops, but, uh, but she's very comfortable um, and uh, yeah, she is doing okay. So um, yeah, so the dental work, uh, they know at least one molar needs to come out. They'll get in there and they'll see what all is going on. And um, yeah, it's going to be a very expensive dental appointment. <laughs> um, but uh, she will be taken care of. Everything um, sounds like it'll it'll go great tomorrow uh, once they get in there. And uh, luckily, they were able to uh, fit her in. So uh, so yeah, that went really well. So um, but yeah, she did great. And um, everything else seems to be going just fine with her. So that is really good news. And uh, yeah, so we'll just have to um, get her in very early in the morning for her vet appointment. And they will be um, sedating her, putting her out so they can do all the work in her mouth. And uh, so in the afternoon, yeah, she's probably going to take a nap or two or so uh, after she wakes up. It's probably going to be a very mellow afternoon, so that'll work in great. I'll either pick her up before the sale or I will pick her up right after the sale. Uh, so tomorrow's sale still seems to be A-OK -okay with the scheduling and Gracie and everything. I think it's going to work out just fine. Um, so that is the update. So I am sitting over here. I have been sitting back there when I've been doing my sales, but I'm sitting over here because I thought this would be a great opportunity to do uh, part one of the Goodwill haul. Uh, so actually right before I went to the bins, <laughs> even though you did see the bins haul already, uh, but this was actually right before I went to the bins, I went to Goodwill and there were so many good things. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, I forgot one thing, but you know what? I will save that for tomorrow. Um, I was, I was trying to keep like, this was one cart and then I went back for another cart, but I'm going to save that one. That one's really cool. Um, but yeah, I, I got something I got to remember to bring it next time, next time I do a haul, but I thought this would be a perfect time to, um, to get in and do the haul. So, um, so yeah, so I went into Goodwill, filled up my cart, then came across some really spectacular things. And I went, Oh, I've got no room left in my cart. 
So I went through checkout, put everything in my trunk, came back into the store and actually filled up my cart again. I was not expecting that, but, um, but yeah, I really hadn't gone through a lot of the store. So, uh, so that was an exciting day. Each trip I ended up spending, I think just over $150 each trip. Um, yeah. So, um, so yeah, I am going to, um, get ready for the next segment and we'll get in. I'm going to tilt my camera down and, and all that good stuff. All right, so I have tilted my camera down and we are ready to go with the haul. Um, so this, I thought this was really beautiful and then I turned it over and it is Blue Ridge. So that was really fun, but yeah, a little four section server. That way you can keep your olives and pickles separated or keep all your different nuts from touching <laughs> that good stuff. Um, this one, yeah, you'll probably remember this one from uh, the Shop With Me video. So yeah, as, as you're going through here, uh, the Shop With Me Goodwill is where I picked up all of these items. Uh, this one I saw and went, ooh, yeah, that is a really cool bottle. It has like little acorns, little acorns and leaves and a cork top. Yeah, thought that was pretty awesome. No marking on it. So I'll do some research and see if I can find um, uh, who, who made that one. Um, let's see. This one... This one I'm a little disappointed with, um, even though I knew it, there was a possibility it could happen. Um, so this is really interesting. It is like a ceramic, uh, ceramic vase, but it has like a, I don't, I think it has like a paper mache type covering over it. Um, I have a feeling it's Japanese. But beautiful design. The only thing, and I was worried about this happening, that's where the price was. And I was, I was like, oh, I bet that's going to leave a mark. And it did. It did, unfortunately, take some of the paint off. Um, the one good thing is this mainly is like the focal point. And the mark is, you can't even see my hand. It's back here. So yeah, there are still several ways to enjoy this vase. Um, little Nick right here, but yeah, I think this has got a little bit of age to it and a really cool paper mache uh, on the top here. Yeah, so yes, unfortunate, but still think it was really a cool vase. Uh, <laughs> Okay, this is going to surprise no one. Look at this little teacup. Um, they might be ornaments. Or maybe for you to hang on, maybe even a Christmas tree, an Easter tree. Um, but they do have the little string here for hanging. But, I mean, little teacups. Yep, had to get the little teacups. So a nice color variety. Black, blue, a yellow and pink. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and we'll talk about these. So I saw these and I went, ooh, that is really cool. So let me get in here to show you that design. Isn't that neat? So, probably espresso and let me see if you can see that if it'll focus on that I wasn't able to get quite in there to see let's see Linda oh Linda something I'll figure out what that last name is 1999 and then it just says made in China. It's got a phone number, a fax number, American phone and fax. 
Source Incorporated. But yeah, I'll figure out who the Linda is who, who did these. Because uh, these are really cool. Really fun design on that. So, no, I don't really need any more teacups or coffee cups. But sometimes you come across something that's really cool like that. And you just got to pick it up. A uh, little trinket box. Love these little trinket box. They are so bright and colorful. This one is marked on the bottom. Lead free. So you know it is a little newer. A little newer piece. But really pretty flowers. Um, all right. Let's get into this. I could not believe I found not one, but two in the same shape. This is such a beautiful shape. Wow. A uh, hand-painted piece. And they did an absolutely beautiful job on this. So nice. And then the other piece, this one is heavier. So that other piece, very light in comparison to this. This is very dense. But I mean, wow, look at that. That is so great. Uh, so this one is made in Japan. And it is a little heavier than the other one. But oh man, that is so beautiful. Okay, then could not resist pansies. I love finding pansies. This one also a hand-painted piece. Really nicely done. And then a couple of... Oops, I better do that. Okay. And this lovely Japan piece green sky with a purple background a little different color combination on this one so i, I kind of liked the green sky and the green water yeah it's a little different and then i found this lovely piece with the white rose that is a beauty. This one is a Noritake piece. Just absolutely lovely. Okay, let's... There we go. Get those stacked a little better. Okay, now I have an Alaskan teapot uh, made out of the same clay. So this is not the glaze that they put on it. This is the actual clay. The clay looks like this and they work it to really show off the beautiful color variation. So since I do have the teapot, I thought, hey, I will add the creamer to it. Maybe at some point I will find the sugar also and I'll have quite a set then. But yeah, I thought that would be a really nice addition. Um, oh my goodness. Let's see. Where to next? Let's do this one. We'll mix it up a little bit. So if you have dolls that you are uh, wanting to display, look at this. I loved it. Um, no, I don't really find things like this, uh, especially at Goodwill. But I thought, what a great way to be able to display two dolls. And yeah, really neat. Made out of wood. Really nicely made out of wood. So I thought I would take a chance on that. Uh, then I have a three-piece set. You know, none of these are marked Avon, but I almost have a feeling that these were an Avon set. Uh, so if you happen to know, I will I will look it up, but just kind of off the top of my head, I thought, oh, this light blue looks like Avon, but it is not marked, but it is beautiful blue glass. So you have the little perfume, 
with the stopper. You just gently get the stopper out of there. There, we've got the little heart-shaped trinket box. So this has a heart-shaped top. This is a heart-shaped trinket box, and it's in nice condition. Really nice, but no marking on it. And then this is a basket with little hearts on it. So it's a really sweet little set. Um, yeah, great little vanity set. And I am going to forget the name of what these little things are. Um, but I know they are for cooking and something about putting food in and then you cook it and then something drips and makes it all good. Uh, but I found two little ones. And I loved the look of them. They are just really cool. And if you, even if you don't want to use them, they would look really neat just sitting in your kitchen. So yeah, those were really a fun find. Uh, could not pass up these two matching vases. What a great pair they are. The blue, blue, the green with the white swirl in it. Oh, I thought that was so good. Uh, there is like a little pontal, but it's nicely smoothed on the bottoms. But yeah, what a great pair of vases. Okay, then I've got this. This is just a nice little trinket box. Maybe it had some tea or something in it originally. Not marked on the bottom, but love just the Asian design on this. Um, and then I just about drove myself crazy <sighs> trying to find more pieces in this set. It's like I felt like there had to be more pieces, but I could not find any. But this is a fantastic 1930s Art Deco design made in Japan. This one is so cool. Look at that. Oh, I love it. And then you've got this like speckle glaze and the big Art Deco handle. But I could only find these two pieces. It's such a shame. This is an amazing set. It's a really cool set just as is, but more is always better. Um, I found this beautiful blue glass. Now this is on here and I feel like ugh, you might be able to take it off, but uh, it kind of would pinch it a little bit, but really nice vase. This is, uh, it does look like it's got a little pontal mark on it. Uh, but it's got this nice little metal work attached to it. Uh, this is a pair that I found in two different spots in the store. Not surprising. I don't know what they are. They've got stoppers in the bottom. They've got two holes on one side and one hole on the other side. I'll figure out if they have a greater purpose other than just being like a room freshener, but they've got a beautiful design. Kind of reminds me of either like a Tuscany or, um, or the French countryside. But I figured, hey, I found one, I liked it, I picked it up, and then I found another. And I thought, all right, well, that's pretty cool. Okay, this, you normally see this kind of design in white milk glass, uh, but I found a green one and I thought, okay, green is lovely. It works all year round. Plus, if you happen to have a milk glass collection, hey, mix it up, add a little green one to it, but it's just a nice bud vase. Uh, but yeah, I just normally find this in the, um, in the milk glass style. 
Um, yep. Christmas in July is coming up, and I could not resist the sleigh planter with the music box. And yeah, it does work. Let me give that. It did work. Is it all of a sudden not going to work? Okay, well, in the store I tested it and it did work, so I'll play around with that a little bit. Come on, you know you want to work. It does say made in Taiwan on the bottom, but nice sleigh. I'm going to get the music box to work, but yeah. Come on, I know the camera's on, the pressure's on. I may have to... Uh, does have screws on the bottom, so I can unscrew that and take a closer look. Um, I found a couple of Japanese dolls. One of them I did bring to the Saturday night sale. Um, she did not sell, but I picked her up. She is very tall. She is 14 inches tall. It does look like, now that I see her bun, she might need a little... No, I guess it's, it is just kind of like that. Um, she's very old and she has metal, the metal, um, little bits in her hair. She's got this, all the, the great little parts in her hair. She has a porcelain face and a, no, but when you get back here, this is cloth back here, but she does feel like she has a porcelain face. Oh, I'm going to get in here a little closer. Maybe it is cloth. No, I think, I think it is some kind of a fabric, but it is over something very hard. Huh? I saw a little bit of like a wavy line. Okay. So I think even though her face is hard and it might be over porcelain or something like that, I think that this is a like a skin over the top of that, a, a fabric skin over the top. Uh, but her outfit, her kimono is gorgeous with chrysanthemums on it. She has the long fringe hanging down. It is hard to even get all of her in here because she is 14 inches tall. And the one thing that really impressed me was her shoes. Uh, I typically don't see these with the traditional shoes. So that was really impressive. This one does need a little work. I can see this little strap is falling down under there. So I will, I will get that going. Um, here is the back. She has the bow. And again, her hair is just amazing. So yeah, so she was really a cool find. And then I found this one, and I don't know a lot about this style, um, but her face is, um, yeah, her face feels more porcelain with her hair all up in a bun. And her body is just solid. So all of this is just nice and solid. There is the top of her bun. Yeah, these were just really, really cool finds. Okay, so then let's see, let's do this. This beautiful glass decanter. Loved the design on this one. And yeah, the stopper is good. I think this is just glass. I don't think it's, yeah, it doesn't have a crystal ring to it, but it does have plastic on the stopper, but really fun. And you know, we, we joke around a lot, but put your mouthwash in this. If you're not um, a drinker, nothing wrong with putting your mouthwash in there and just, you know, making your bathroom a little extra fancy. Okay, I picked up, as you can see, I picked up a lot of vases. The vase section was great. So if you watched the Shop With Me uh, video and saw all of the goodness in the vase section, yeah, 
I did spend some time there and I picked up some vases. Um, so this one, purple, ombre, loved it. Yeah, it's got a little swirl on the bottom, but yeah, loved that one. Uh, this one, ooh, look at this beauty. Done in glass. That is so pretty. There is the top. And then, yeah, yeah. Isn't that just amazing? Loved that one. Um, let's see. Ooh, yeah. Halloween. This was sitting there and I went, wow, look at this. So we've got a house. These are just kind of barely stuck on with like some putty, but I think they are little Hallmark, little Hallmark guys. And he went right there. So there's all of these assortments of them. You turn it around, there's the back of the house, a little bat and the moon. I don't know if this, I don't think this says anything on it as to who, you know, what company made this mold, but oh my gosh, this thing is just, it is fantastic and epic. And yeah, this one just does not want to stay on anymore. The little cat, but you've got the little, um, uh, I don't know what he is. He's not really a cat, but you've got the little pumpkin, the little trick or treater, the witch, the, um, the little pumpkin saying boo, and then you've got the bat on the back, but yeah, this thing is epic. It is so cool. And it's big. <laughs> <coughs> Not gonna lie. Oh, there might have been something. I see a little gum back here. There might have been another figurine back here. I just... I didn't see one, but yeah, some of these just aren't really staying on all that well. But amazing, amazing. Okay, then I grabbed another vase. This one is teal. Oh, look at that. It's actually showing teal. It is white on the inside, teal on the outside. This is so cool. Love that shape. Um, another vase, a blue one. This one is a ceramic vase, blue glaze on the inside and out, but I loved the shape of this. And then the last, oops, hang on one sec. Okay, to the last item that I found, it does have a flaw on it. I gotta tell you, I kinda went, okay, um, most people just use these for display purposes. They don't really like use them for going out. So I thought, okay, even with the flaw, this one, it's spectacular. It's worth it. Yep, it's a handbag. Oh my gosh. And look at that lid and look at that handle. Yeah, have I found a blue one before? No, I have not. What is the flaw? Well, somebody dropped it at some point and there is a crack in it. You can see it right there and across here. So there is a crack. It's still pretty sturdy, um, but Again, most people use these just for displaying their own personal collection. Um, you could still use this going out. Again, that crack is pretty sturdy. The rest of this is pretty darn sturdy. Um, but I would just be very careful if you were to take this out uh, for a night and just know that there is that crack in there. But yeah, finding one with a blue lid and a blue handle, wow, 
This is such an amazing handbag. So cool. So, yes, it did have the flaw. Yeah, it's a pretty major flaw, but man, oh man, this one is spectacular. So it was definitely worth, um, I think, worth saving. All right, so that is uh, part one of the Goodwill haul. And I've got, yeah, part two still to unpack. I haven't unpacked it yet because um, I wanted to get this part um, um, on tape out there in the vlog for you to enjoy uh, before I started unpacking um, the other other load. So, uh, so that is um, now done. And um, yeah, I can get working on the other part. But, um, so my game plan for today is, um, basically since it is kind of after when I would be doing my normal sale, uh, I am going to be spending the rest of the day packing and invoicing. And, um, I've got some packages, uh, upstairs that, um, need to have postage put on them and brought downstairs. So I will be doing that next and uh, then I will show you the mail stack that is going out for today. But other than that, uh, just going to be checking in on Gracie, making sure she is comfortable and um, yeah, getting, getting ready for a sale day tomorrow. So I will need to um, also, because tomorrow morning is going to be a little busy with dropping Gracie off at the vet. I am going to pull my 10 items that I am going to bring to the morning sale tomorrow, Wednesday, double sale day. Uh, but if I at least get those 10, if I'm smart, I should be pulling the other 10. I might grab, I might grab a few of these pieces <laughs> for that. Uh, but yeah, that's the game plan. Packing, invoicing, and making sure my morning 10 items are ready to go. All right, well, it is about 11.45 and I am upstairs. Yes, I have my hair in just a ponytail today. Yes, it is long. <laughs> I'll show you that. <laughs> I don't normally do it, and yes, I will be putting it in a bun soon because this is driving me crazy already, flopping around all over the place. Um, but I'm working on getting postage done so I can get uh, the boxes downstairs for when the mail carrier gets here. And I have a Poshmark sale, so I'm going to share that. There we go. It is a champion. It's a long sleeve shirt. It's a size medium. Um, I have, I have, um, blah, 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 trying to, <laughs> trying to, to use my words. Um, I use flip F L Y P. Uh, it's flip reseller tool. And, um, I use that for my cross listing and, um, I use that for my Poshmark sharing. So yes, it does share my closet. Um, when anybody puts in a like on an item, uh, Flip automatically sends an offer, 10% off plus discounted shipping, and that is how this sold. Uh, so that was a $13 sale plus discounted shipping. Yep, but it is a good uh, bread and butter brand, and um, long sleeves sell all year long, even though we're going right into the heat of summer. Yep. People are shopping for long sleeves. So uh, I am going to ship that. Uh, Poshmark's always go priority mail. And so I've got my Tyvek envelope. I like using these for shipping my uh, clothing. So I'm going to get that ready. And you will see that in the pile downstairs. I finish up and get the rest of the packages down there. All right. Well, it is about 12.15. Whew, what a day so far. <laughs> It's been a really busy day already. Um, I, after this, I'm going to grab a light lunch, that's for sure. And then I'm going to get started uh, packing and invoicing. But I am at the front door and I am going to show. There we go. The stack that is going out today. So I do have five packages going out. 
So that is awesome, including the one Poshmark. Uh, um, I will keep checking my inbox and if I get any more payments, um, I will get them down here and in the mail today. If they beat the mail carrier here, it's always hard to know exactly what time he's gonna be here. Uh, but there's a couple more hours where I will keep checking uh, for payments. But unless anything major, spectacular, something happens, I am probably just going to be focusing on packing for the rest of the day. So, um, yeah, so you got to see uh, part one of the Goodwill haul. And, um, yeah, I will uh, be giving you an update um, tomorrow which is today, so later today, <laughs> on uh, the drop-off of Gracie for her dental work and, and everything that they're going to be doing. Uh, so that is pretty much going to wrap it up for today. And uh, thank you so much for watching.